Pull up is very important, right? Of course. One is it helps your shoulder, helps your lap, and all your muscle, all your upper strength, so you can pull people's head down. So there's right here. Okay. And there's a wider pull. Right. So it helps your back. So it helps your arms, and then here it helps your grip. Just like almost like there, there's a jujitsu that one of those jujitsu big big rope that people work oh, on. Oh right, right. You can use that. Okay. You know. But as for us, it's mainly for places you like pull ups with it. Yeah, you can do pull ups. Oh. Then you switch your hand. So then when your hands turn, like you change it. You know? I see. Like you ain't gonna be here all the time, of course. You're gonna be here and here and you pull and pull and pull. You know? A lot of times they keep their head up. Right. Stand straight, neck strong. A lot of time I just. Go for it. <laughs> you just let them do it? <laughs> no, because if I'm here, my hands are safe. Oh. You understand? Yeah. I'm looking at here, so if I'm here, boom, boom, and he's gonna need me. You ready for it? Yeah. That one. In, um, in MMA, what they do, they, when somebody get, when they hear it, a lot of guys block their leg. Oh, yeah. For knee, right? Right. So I always see people do this, right? Right. right. <laughs> They just move over, you know? Yeah. Or, from here, if they block the knee, right? Like that, see? Mm -hmm. I just let it go. <laughs> yeah, you know, it depends it depend how they, like, they, I see a lot of MMA guys on the cage, they push, push against each other. Now, in my, in my hand here, and I'm pushing against you from blocking my, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you hit a knee, boom. You know? Or yeah, I can grab it and dip it. Oh, uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? This is, it helps a lot. You gotta, that's why all these conditioning is good for you. Um, to know where the hands are at, to know where your hands are at. It's to work on your upper strength, you know? So you just, it's just pull ups like this. Yep. Or you can switch hands and go all the way up and come back oh, down and do like some climb, climb up. <laughs> yeah, climb up like you would climb up a rope. <laughs> you use your feet? Or is that cheating? You try not to use your feet because you gotta work on your upper hand. I mean, upper body. That's tough. And then being flexible is very important also because splits and dip. I, that's my baby right here. Yes. This dip machine? Yeah. The dip machine, that's my love. The split machine, I don't really need it, but I still love it. I mean, it helps the student in this and pull ups, you know. Um, weight, you can do a lot of things with weight. Resistance band, I like the most. Okay. Like if you have resistant band, it works a lot on your resistance, you know? And like I said, the steer bags, we have a couple bags that you can... I'm giving you out my secret now. Just put <laughs> sand in there with, you know, sand, fill some sand in there. Don't be afraid to need something to put it hard. I mean, the only thing is you might enter, injure yourself, but at the same time, it's going to help you down line, you know? I mean, I can need it. It feels like nothing, but because you're used to it. Yeah, it hurts I mean, me like crazy when I do it. <laughs> it's gonna hurt somebody. Like I, I, I see a lot of students come in and what? Oh, oh, oh. Like, you know, like <laughs> I told you not to kick that bag. You can punch, you know, because they're not used to it. So I mean, it's good for conditioning, knee conditioning, legs, or your shin. So the sand and tear bag. That's interesting. Do it, you'll see the difference. You will be impressed by when you need somebody, you're gonna be like, that guy's, what? He's soft. He's soft, <laughs> exactly. Compared um, to that thing. <laughs> not to say that he don't train, but you know. Like I said, you have to train a little bit harder than your opponent. Of course. Um, oh, here's. Oh yeah, I think a mom has one of those. Now. This is, would be good for jiu-jitsu people. Why? Block guard, right? Right. And it helps your thigh, it helps you get your leg get stronger. But for Muay Thai... Oh. Clinch work. Nobody hmm. got out of my clinch. Unless you know jiu-jitsu, then you can be able to get out of it. But if you were clinch... Huh. You're like... Interesting. 
Still really? Stiff my mom. And the only thing is, is I've seen people bust their face with it when it gets sweaty. And they oh, get, they get lazy out. and they go boom. <laughs> so you really had a good control and just pop, 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 keep it tight. And, and just burn it. Pop, 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 pop. That's cool. Do it. You you will know the difference. You know, you're gonna feel like you do this all the time, and you go grab over with somebody that been grabbing you with a long time, and they know mm -hmm. that you're not up pretty strong up here, and you go do it against them. They're like, dude, what you been doing? <laughs> you know? And I'll be like, oh, I just ate my oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I have this is my other trick. Head is very important. This is my forearm. Forearm skip. Now, your forearm has to be heavy. What do you like mean Popeye. heavy? Like Popeye. Popeye arm. Because when you hit, you don't have to put too much uh, force behind it because your arms are heavy. Okay. You know? So your forearm has to be strong. So strong at the same forearms. time, it's oh, strong yeah. for that. You know? So it's, it's for, this is for my other head workout. You bite it. Oh, you bite it and just, and just lift your neck? Yeah. <laughs> it helps your jaw at the same time. Oh yeah, I bet it would. When, when, you, when, you, when you get that, yeah. that little impact and you crunch on your teeth, that's when you save your jaw. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, and my number one star. This is my baby. Your banana tree? My banana tree. My palm tree. Jaw Claw Van Damme has nothing on this. <laughs> Sorry, Jaw Claw. <laughs> but it's the banana tree that won't break, won't get old on you. No matter how much you hit it, she's still gonna be strong for you, you know? Yeah. At the same time, it's gonna help you be strong. Elbow work. Spin. You know, knee work. You just take something to a metal pole? It's, um, what's this? It's like, you know how, like, some of those inside of those pad cushions? It's like some styrofoam stuff? Yeah, it's like styrofoam. Oh, yeah, this yellowy. Kind of like belongs stuff. to a floor that you yeah. out of a home and stuff like that. Um, you can get gold, or you can go get it, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna kick the. Um, Remember, if you make one of this, put AK on it, okay? <laughs> so let people know it. It's AK. It's AK. And it's his idea. <laughs> Ouch, man. All metal. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Bone to bone it hurts a lot. That's true. Uh, but it makes it easy for it. I know it's going to... Maybe down the line, it might, if you do it too much or do it too long or do it too hard, I mean, it might give you a little chin, chin splint or certain people. But a lot of time it builds those cuffs. You know, build your bones yeah. stronger. You know how when bone breaks, it heals up and gets stronger. Yeah, when it breaks. Same as your bone here, you just sharpen it up. You're not, you're not really trying to break it, you kind of like dense it. And then when it heals, it gets stronger. Hmm. You know? Yeah. That's how it is. So that's that's what my teacher told me. So he said everything in your body has to be sharp and strong. Your knuckle. My knuckle here, when you train, it's cracked up. Oh. Like it's really ashy and cracked up. Ouch. Like it looks like it, it was a dragon scale. Hmm. And it hurts every time I grip because my bone was so like sticks out. Ouch. And all there's less meat in there. So when it hit people, they feel all bone instead of muscle. You know? Yeah. So I mean conditioning is very important. I had to do this every day. Well, One gets myself stronger. Mm -hmm. Two, I learned how to generate power by short range punching. Oh, close. Up close. So if I'm here, it's like, but he feels an all bone, you know? Yeah. So I just let one off good one here because I already know how to generate my hip, my power here. So that's true, it really helps a lot. When I fight big guys, I'm here. I just want to see what they do. Mm -hmm. 
Boom, I lodge one and I come right back on top. Boom, I come back on top. Boom, I come back under. You know? So I learned how to fight close range just by just, you know. Hmm. It helps me a lot. People don't think, you have to think this is a, a person. <laughs> just like the bag, you know? If you don't think that's a person, then you're mistaken because that bag will hurt you if you don't give it respect. You know, or this will hurt you if you don't give it respect. Because you have to respect the uh, tool. These are the tools that will help you get stronger. You know? Like a bag. Like, even like a bag of this, I mean, for him and me, you're going to have to lift it up and slap. Mm -hmm. If you don't have one of those, my buddy there. Right. <laughs> you know? And uh, even a tire. Tire hurts you a lot. All these are my tire. I've been used a lot. Yeah, you can get one like that, so you don't have to be exactly like that. Get a good side like that. Guarantee you, your kick would be more powerful. We're doing a little kick exercise to show you. Yeah, I would say like first 25 each leg, you know, hard, good one. Boom. Not a lazy one. I don't want no lazy one. Next week, 50. Next week, 75. Oh. Next week, 100. And stick around 100 up after that. You know? Make it your goal. I have to get a hundred kick in before I go. I can't miss what you got, but I gotta get a hundred kick. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Guarantee you not that hundred kick will become like one power kick that will break somebody's rib. And I already broke somebody's rib. <laughs> Just by that alone. So is this like this is probably ideal height? Just a little bit below the hip then. Yeah, because. This idea of height would be the one for blocking. You know? Mm -hmm. If if their knee is up this far, that means oh, you yeah. have to kick past it. Point. You know, that and it's, 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 it's close to your hip. So if they lift it up a little bit, you will aim towards this part right here. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a hand. We'll see. Yeah. You know? But if I get my own tire, I'm just saying this yeah. is a good height for you. Right on your thigh, a good height for practice. Right on your under your hip, you know? Yeah. That would be a good medicine ball is good. You know, that's a lot of things you can do. So you just conditioned your knuckles and shins just like with the pole and, and if tear are, bag and stuff. Okay. Is like I said, you, you have you have to understand, like you got the technique, you got the art. But you have to understand the pain. Remember I showed you the slab and the oh, side yeah. one? Pains comes from different feel. There's an itchy pain, there's a burning pain, there's a sting pain, and there's like a little paper cut pain. It's almost like a sting and cut pain. Yeah. And there's a inside pain, which is kind of like deep inside that. You won't see it, but you're, you're sore, you're hurt. Yeah. You couldn't move because it won't show that you really got bruised in there, but it's really impact. And then down the line, you're gonna see a big old bruise. Like, damn, I didn't see that before. You know, because it really impact you from the inside, then it shows outside. Now the outside pain is just like a stinging slap. It shows from the outside first, before you even impact the inside. By the time you are healed, you know? Yeah. That's the stings. So you have, you have to understand your own body. How much pain can you generate on yourself? I'm not saying like, Go be retarded and hit yourself with a stick mm. or hit yourself with a weapon just to get used to it. No, I'm saying how much could you handle and endure and how much are you willing to accept and take? Just like life. If you get punched, are you going to quit? Right? Right. So if you know how to take as much pain, you know your own body. Then in the fight, you know how much pain that you can absorb before your body gives up. Yeah, you know? I see. So you have to really condition yourself, and you know the you know how to punch, you know how to do all these techniques, all these forms and arts and you know cardio. But at the same time, if you don't know how to take pain, not gonna, it's not going to help not gonna you do much. At all. Fight, it's not yeah. going to do much because your adrenaline is is helping you already to absorb all that numbness. When you feel the adrenaline rush, like mm -hmm. boom, 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 right? And then after the fight, you're like. <laughs> because the adrenaline is already helping you, right? Yeah. But now you're conditioned. Watch yeah. watching some monkey or something. So now your body's conditioned. <laughs> your adrenaline is already helping you. You come out, you're like, 
Damn, I only really felt like that was a fight at all. Mm. I think it was a hanging. You didn't realize that that's how much condition you, you got. You know? There's a difference. Like, my last fight, this part was a condition, right? I didn't, I didn't start conditioning until after my last fight that I fought this kid. I see. Um, and then I kicked him. Boom! Oh. I hit him right on his knee. With your instep? Yeah. Ouch. Because I'm already damaged all his whole leg and he didn't lift it up. He just, oh, he just stayed he here. He just stayed there and just, boom! I took him down. He tried to punch me and I said, boom! Come down and his legs already tore up. And for some reason, he saw this kick coming in the next one and he kind of screwed his leg back. Boom! And my. I went from here to there. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, what saying. So to avoid my kick, he already know the distance. So when I kick, I went he here, boom, and he stepped back, he and I cut, he cut the, I cut my instep on his knee. Ouch. You know, and I'm like, oh crap. So I <laughs> felt it because I haven't felt that pain uh -huh. before. So I said, like, you know what? I'm just gonna let him have it, and I'm go back in it again. Cause I know how it feels pain. It's just I never felt on that one, yeah. you know? So it's different. So my body's like, hey, you already felt these kind of pain already. Let's go some more. So I went some more and that kind of damaged him some more. So ever since after that fight, I said, you know what? I got to finish my fight. I got to do my instep. I got to do my instep. I was idiot, you know? Because I didn't condition it every single thing. You have to condition everything, even your neck. Like here, I got yeah. kicked. Yeah. Just How like do that? Just when hit yourself? You got hit and you were dazed? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Not to remind you, but nervous system, right? Oh right yeah, here. I can feel that. Just a and this is all your nerve system, okay? This is your balance back here. Okay. You know how when all the skaters ride and skate and they slip and bust their oh, head yeah. and they blacked out? Yeah. Or when people get a car crash and get the head whip and they black out? Yeah. That's because your, your neck here is controlling all your nervous system to your balance here. Huh. This controls your eyesight. Interesting. That's why you don't want to get hit in the back of the head. That's why to get hit in the back of the head is legal. Mm. Right? Or else everybody would have <laughs> <laughs> hit you in the back of the head and you're done. Because this, this is the part where it's, it's not for you a lot of hit to be a fair fight. Let the man stare at you fight, fight. You know? Yeah. So this is a, your nervous system. So if you don't train that, you also like, you know how when you get hit, boom, you like, oh, day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you try to catch yourself. Your eyes shaking, mm -hmm. you blurry, and here comes this guy. He's gonna attack you. You have to train that also. You know? Yeah. The way to train that, chop yourself in the head. Chop it yourself, huh? But you have to stare at something. Try not to let your, try to read a whole word or try to stare at one dot and don't let it shake too much. Huh, interesting. So then at the same time, I gotta kick here, I gotta kick here twice. Yeah? On a training though, not even in the fight. Because I hold a pad for the guy, it's supposed to be one kick, two kick. Oh, but he just did the same side. Yeah, so he thought it was two kick. And he was a wrestler too, and he, this guy was like, he got good power. He's strong guy. Yeah, strong, he's a pretty strong guy. I went, one, one, one kick, boom, one kick. <laughs> all right. He goes, you all right? I looked at him, I'm like, did you just kick me? <laughs> I was he not have paid attention? He said one kick over oh, one kick. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, because he, he thought I was gonna kick his ass. My eye went from you serious? You just kicked me, you know, like I went from happy guy holding path for you <laughs> to a guy that I'm gonna be like, Are you not paying attention? Like you really just kicked me, you know? But that's because I trained myself so much here. So you're able to take it. And I was able to roll with it. You know, take punches once you get knocked out or something. Yeah. So, and that's another thing you can do. And now, as some more time, they kick here and here, here. Right. Right. This is another thing you can do. Have your partner or whoever your buddy is and kick you there. Just and kick, tight. Kick. Tight. Just like, like, kick. Oh. Jeez. And then I catch. You learn because your body has all these sensor nerves, okay? Mm -hmm. See, I'm talking about this, I get goosebumps. Yeah, I'm, you, that. I'm being honest with you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> now, all these hair on your body tells you how the wind feels and how pressure it is, right? Right. Your body has these sensors when in the course of impact, you want to clinch. Oh. You want to tighten up, right? Right. Or when you punch and tighten up. Right. Your body has that system that will do that. 
So for you to train and get tightened up, be prepared for it, you know, you gotta learn how to take it. You know, tight, yeah. and then once you know how to absorb, you can catch the kick and sweep them, catch the kick and take them down. Then you have to worry about it, but the thing is, when you catch, don't turn into it. Don't catch it with your ribs. <laughs> yeah, you turn it way away from it. And then catch. And then okay. catch this one. Yeah, you rather pick the four here, and then if they do kick, go just boom. Thank you. Make it feel like this, you're wearing a turtle shell. Like Ninja Turtle. So catch you get hit, turtle shell. just turn. <laughs> Put your turtle shell to it, you know? I have two brothers kicking me. That's a punch bag. I do this all day. And I get tired, they switch. <laughs> and after that, my leg. Oh, you have to kick your legs. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, I guess so. Like, you have, see how like this leg haven't got kicked much, right? Right, it doesn't. For you, it haven't because you're a softball. Right. A lot of time, this leg got kicked a lot. It does, yeah. Okay, but you have to learn how to absorb the impact. So when they kick you, you gotta learn how to absorb it. That was just the instep. Imagine it's a shin. Yeah. Really <laughs> so I, I recommend just take it, <laughs> go into it. Like if they kick in, tight in. They kick outside, go out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because if you kick, oh, and if you kick, if you kick, this part right here will impact, and it will roll up, and I can catch it. I see. I don't. And I don't. How are you dipping in for the inside kick? Oh, just, just twisting it. in the inwards. Yeah, just like that. That's it. You, you want to hurt somebody, and they go for inside kick. Oh, catch him with the knee? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Really bad. Uh, watch the top of the fight. There's some guy broke his leg because of that. Yeah. Boom. Well, even Anna Silva broke his leg. That's right. Because he kicked the guy, and the guy went out. And with the instep. That's why he broke his. Um, you, your joint has to be strong. You got to do this a lot too, because this part has to be strong to take the impact. Because you don't see the leg. This. That's why they got an angle. Oh, yeah. and all that stuff. This has to be strong. It has to be tight. It need to be loose when it need to be, and be tight when the impact is supposed to be. You know? Yeah. I mean, you have to do all that. That's 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 a like I said. You have to really condition your body. Your shin has to be strong. Yeah, keep my shin. Uh, I don't know if I want it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, you see the difference? Yeah. And that, that's because I. I trained my nerve to get like used rock, to it. Man. Yeah, I trained my nerve to get used to it. I mean, my nerve don't die. People think I'm, my legs are dead. My nervous system don't die. It just, it's so like, hey man, <laughs> you go ahead and kick that pole, we go over here. You know, it's just like, <laughs> you're gonna numb it up and we go here, you know, it's kind of. But if I stop for a while, I kick again, it'd be like itchy, red, little bit of light bruises, and then after that, it just go Psh. Just goes away, huh? Like in a day or so. Shins are like no. rocks, man. That's, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, that's why I say condition a lot. I mean, if you really want to be one of the guys that do damage to people, mm -hmm. make your weapon, make, sharpen up your weapon. Everything, sharpen up. Do you need this pull too? Huh? Do you need this pull? Yeah. Fist elbow. I mean, you have. You need feet, huh? You don't have to get this pull. You, could you do it all like on like a heavy bag? Uh, like I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I can do this with at home. I have a heavy bag at home, but I don't have...